Hi, I'm Francis Garcella. Welcome to One on One. We're joined with uh, freshly and newly elected Mayor Josh Brocious. You've been in office now for two months, and first tell us about these first two months. Well, these first two months, it's a learning curve. I mean, I was on council, charge of street department, totally different beast going from the street department councilman to the mayor position with the police department, uh, the executive office. So just trying to learn that new, new position, just getting out there in the public, letting the public know, hey, I'm the new mayor. We want to hear what your input is for the city. So it's been a, a, a totally new learning curve. But, you know, it's exciting. Get to get out there, talk to the people, talk to the businesses. So it's been a great two months so far. And, and you started off right away with a bang with the uh, commercial property ordinance, right? <laughs> yes, so you yes. had a lot of people show up for that. So just tell us your quick thoughts on that and how you think that worked out. There was a meeting. I guess about a week ago now where the, everybody kind of came to the same understanding. So yeah. just tell us a little bit about So that. the whole point behind the commercial ordinance was to get into these commercial buildings, not just on Market Street, but throughout the entire city, to make sure these buildings are safe. Make sure they're safe with the, for the people that are in them now, people who may be interested in renting them, or just making sure they're up to code, making sure everything's safe. And we passed that commercial ordinance. There were some questions in there, some language that uh, the property owners didn't understand. I completely understand that. So we had their meeting, we took their input, we had another meeting following that to say, all right, after hearing your input, these are the changes we're going to take place. And then we're, I don't know if it's going to be this council meeting, but in the future, we're going to say, all right, here are the new changes, here are the new, uh, not ordinances, but here are the changes in the ordinance, and then pass that out to get the scheduling out there to get make sure these properties are safe for the people who are going to end them, the shop, rent, whatever it may be. Since the commercial property... Uh, people had come in, the professionals, yes. we'll say. Uh, have the have you spoke to any other owners who are now understanding of this? And yeah, after we had that meeting before the council meeting, other people were happy because they got their answers, their, excuse me, their questions answered about what did this mean, what did that mean, so on and so forth. But we did get a lot of positive feedback from the owners just saying, hey, thank you for having this meeting, and also thank you for taking our input on you know suggestions moving forward. With that being said, one big thing that you campaigned on and that you've been uh, constantly about is revitalizing the downtown. Uh, not just downtown, but all of Sunbury. And recently, there's been several new businesses that have opened in uh, the downtown. Yes. Uh, various restaurants, different kind of shops. And, and uh, I read where uh, a woman was quoted to say that Sunbury is in the process of revitalizing and, and things are starting to happen. So I'm sure for you, you're, you're happy to hear that. But you've come up with and have been working on for quite a while a plan. So tell us about that, and and that's the reason why we're here. Yeah. We want to hear all about your new plan and what you want to do with with the city, with the officials, and with the residents. So talking with the different city officials, the councilmen, even local, you know, with the county representative Culver, Senator Gorner, we want to come up with an entire plan for the city of Sunbury, different from the strategic plan, different from the comprehensive plan but our own plan for the entire city. I mean, we have small plans here for the police department, parks and rec, streets, so on and so forth, but I want to come up with an entire city plan. So you're not banking on like years ago when City Car came up with the two hotels in Sunbury and arches and, and golden bridges and all that kind of stuff. You're no, right no. Here, so We're talking right. about things that we can control as a city, as officials, from our rules, regulations, policies, ordinances. And so we have a plan one year, five years, ten years down the road, how we want to see our city, where we want to see our city moving forward. You know, whether, I mean, I say our biggest asset we have is the river. Let's start playing to that. So, you know, so many other communities have different things going for them. Like, for example, Schmokin has the AOAA. Lewisburg, Seagulls Grove, Bloomberg, they have the colleges, but we have the river. So I think that's something we need to take into account is like, all right, where do we want to see our city go? I think the right direction is focus on the river. Not everybody has that great body of water next to them like we have, and I think that's a big attraction for tourism, different events along the river. I know this year we're having more events along the river than we ever had before. So we're taking a step in that right direction. So I want to sit down with the council people, have other people come in and show us different studies how um, different groups of individuals think differently because, you know, me being 30 years old, think differently from someone who's maybe 40 or 50 or 60, or even me, someone who's 20 years old, we think differently. So we got to see what type of demographic, what age group, so on and so forth that we want to target because we can't plan for yesterday. We got to plan for tomorrow, and tomorrow is the future of the city. So 
we haven't talked about that. I know the council meeting is coming forward. We're going to have more conversations. So it's just something that has to happen because we need to plan for the future because that's where the world's going. We have to think, how are we going to get people here? So do you, are you going to set up various... Uh like public meetings for people to come and just throw ideas together or oh yeah definitely it. because it's not it's not my city it's not the councilman city it's the citizen city and that is how we're going to know where the people want to go and using their inputs using the resources we have available for it come up with a plan to get to that point and we need to be realistic on what we can achieve i mean as you said before we can't have hotels at every corner of the city with Golden Gate arches and those things, but things we can control, and everyone has to realize, things cost money. There's no magic tree where it grows off of, so we have to be smart financially how we get to that point as well. Right, so I know legally you have to spend this so much money on a comprehensive plan and, and the whole nine yards, but you saw the last one. I mean, in your opinion, a lot of it is just an, it's an unrealistic possibility. So this, what you're trying to do is kind of say, okay, even though we have to do this, let's try to make it more local and bring it back to where the people have a say instead of worried about, you know, a, a gateway across. Yeah. You'd rather have uh, music on Saturday nights or something to that effect where you're bringing Exactly, it. exactly. I mean, if you look at the different bigger cities around us, they have entertainment every week and they have things going on. Art shows. Yeah, whatever. art shows, music fest, so on and so forth. And we're getting there. There's different bits and pieces of the city coming together uh, with having more events downtown on, uh, along Cameron Park, down by the river. Even outside of town, people are doing events to draw people. So let's have a, an overall plan how we want to do this because the more things we have going on at the same time, the better off we are because, hey, we're going to try this out. Oh, let's go over here. We're done here. You just keep bouncing around town for things to do for everybody of all ages. Perfect. So, and the last thing we'll ask you, and then we'll let you get out of here, is on a, the, everything else is positive, but on another note, a lot of calls, a lot of emails about rising crime, rising crime, rising crime. Now, recently you just you held a press conference with all the county officials and everybody else about it. Uh, and again, there's more things that come up. So, in your so far in your time there, are you seeing anything that you'd like to do different with police? Are you seeing anything you want to change? And are you seeing, I mean, are you have a message to residents about even attempting to try to commit crimes in Sunbury? Well, since my time in office, and this is carrying over from when Mayor Klobuchar was here, was also here just a couple months ago. It's a team effort, never ends. But the police are doing a great job. They're one of our goals and meeting with Chief Hare and their sergeants start implementing it slowly is getting out there with community policing, being more visible. And the crimes that do happen in Sumber that are more violent, they are catching these criminals. They're not getting away. The stabbings, the shootings, the break-ins, these people are getting caught. They're not running the streets wild. So people think they're going to come here, commit a crime, and get away with it. They're sadly mistaken. All these violent crimes we had with the shootings, the stabbings, the break-ins, those people are caught, and the people who are involved, they're getting caught. They're getting brought up on charges. So our police force is doing their job, and they're going above and beyond for what they really need to be doing. They are catching what they need to do. Right. Well, I think that's why I wanted to bring it up, because you read a lot on various social medias that it's all, you know, nobody's in custody and all these kind of things. So I guess you would be the chief of the, of the office, so you can clarify yeah. that and say that. Yes, they, they are getting caught. There's warrants out there. They're picking them up every single week. They're out on patrol still doing their job while trying to get all these other things solved because they care about the city. They care about the citizens. So they're going above and beyond. And as I said, does anyone, if you see something, say it, report it so we can get on it right away. And message to anyone who's watching this, if you're going to come do a crime, you're going to get caught. It may not be today, it may not be tomorrow, but you are going to get caught because the record shows they're getting caught, they're getting prosecuted. Well, we appreciate you taking the time, and uh, we'll check back with you in a couple months from now. So All right, thank thanks. you. Appreciate it.